Your power tool uses a basic toggle switch that breaks the circuit on both the hot and neutral wires. After thousands of cycles and years of use, the switch will wear out. Testing for a bad switch can be easily done using a multimeter. Replacing the on-off switch is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. I'll begin by removing the rear cover from the die grinder. Now remove the other half as well. With the housing removed, next I'll remove the paddle switch. The paddle switch is held to the housing with a small plastic tab. I'll use a screwdriver to push down on the tab and then I can pull the paddle switch away. Now remove the cord clamp. On the opposite side of the grinder, I'll go ahead and remove the wires that come from the field to the switch. And now I can remove the switch from the housing. I'll push the plastic tab back and then pull the switch out. Now I can remove the cord from the switch. Now I can install the new switch. I'll remove the screws from the old switch. Loosely install them onto the new. and then reinstall the wires. Now I can install the switch back into the housing. I'll reconnect the field wires. and re-secure the cord with the cord clamp. And now I can reinstall the switch paddle and the housings. The paddle just slides into place. Then I'll install one side of the rear housing. Make sure that the cord protector is aligned with the housing. I'll reinstall this filler piece at the rear of the housing. And now the second half of the housing, and I'll secure it with the screws. And that's how easy it is to install a new switch in your power tool.